another video coming another video good morning good morning wake up hit that thumb button i want y'all to i want to see the likes up guys kobe bryant listen I, I i i'm just going through it i'm watching i'm just watching and being amazed by kobe bryant numbers early on with shaq at kobe bryant at age 22 was better than lebron james at age 22 the only difference is Le lebron made it to the finals kobe won the fight kobe won the final because he had help he had shaq but kobe individual performance was better than better than lebron's better than lebron the only difference is kobe had shaq and actually won the championship lebron didn't win the championship at age 22 Age 22, let's give you a regular season. At age 22, Kobe Bryant was 28 and a half points, 5.9 rebounds, that's six, six rebounds, and five assists on 46.4% shooting. LeBron James at age 22 with the Cavs, his own leading, the, the leading guy. Now he's the leading guy. He had a 27 point three tonight, seven rebounds, seven assists on 47% shooting, right? So the only difference is Kobe Bryant won the championship. LeBron James got swept. And the reason why Kobe won, we being fair, he had Shaquille O'Neal. And the reason why LeBron got swept is LeBron played poorly in that final, but he didn't have a significant enough help. But the individual stats and performance in those series in that finals to their team, Kobe at age 22 was better than LeBron at age 22. I'm sorry. Kobe averaged 29 points a night on seven rebounds and six assists in the playoffs. He was seven rebounds and damn near seven assists in the playoffs. Let me repeat that. The guy that got carried by Shaq, the guy that got carried by Shaq in the 2000-2001 playoff averaged 29.4 points a game, 7 point, point rebounds, and almost 7 assists, 6 assists. His individual stats was significantly better. LeBron James averaged 25 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists as the leading guy. Kobe, had, Kobe was 29 tonight. As somebody said to Sidekick, how Sidekick averaged 29 tonight? Maybe they were just equal, the two best players on one team. Kobe and Shaq were the two best players on one team. And I might have asked you, but at the game uh, one when he dropped that 45 and 10 against the best defense in the league, Tim Duncan, Dave Robinson, when he was just dunking all of them, just torn playing with him, he dropped 45 and 10. He dropped 45 and 10 against the best defense in the league, the Tim Duncan, Dave Robinson, two, hard, two top 75 players, 45 and 10. Shaq said, Kobe, superstar, two superstars or superstars do. And he's finally, he's, finally, he's finally at that level where I can say he's the best player in the NBA. This is what Kobe at age 22. This Shaquille O'Neal, the guy on his team that everybody say the dominant, saying Shaq is the best. Kobe's the best player in the league. At two, in 2001 at age 22, he was the athleticism, the shot making, the ability to attack the rim, the acrobatic moves, the, the three point shooting, the defense. It was all there at age 22. LeBron James didn't have no defense, didn't have no shot. LeBron James lost that final series against the Spurs, getting swept by the Spurs, shooting 38%, 30, 35% from the field, 35% from the field, couldn't shoot. Couldn't shoot, and he couldn't shoot because they weren't contested shots. It was uncontested shots. He was missing them. He was missing them. Trash. It was trade was pathetic. And they talk about LeBron 48 point special at 20 at age 22. Kobe had a 48 and 16 rebound game in the game four against the best team in the league. I think no, they won the best team record wise. That was the uh, they won the best. That, that, that was the that was the, the next year. There was Chris Webber. Second team all defense and Doug Christie for the fool. That's a what 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 told Kobe dominated the Spurs because he had the better matchup with the guards that had Torrey Porter and McDaniels. Well, you can't say that because he averaged 32 against the Spurs, but you can't say that because he had 48 points and six and rebounds against Doug Christie, Ronnie Devot, who just said it, and Chris Webber. Doug Christie, second team all defense. You know what Kobe did? He did two points better than that series. He averaged 35 against second team all defensive play and Doug Christie. He averaged 35 in that series. <laughs> so, so don't say so. Don't don't try to keep up for Shaq, cause Shaq, cause Shaq had Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson. What Kobe averaged thirty five in, in 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 against the second team all defender in um, Doug Chris. He's even better against better competition at the guard position against the Kings. So he dropped off against smaller guards because he only had average thirty three. <laughs> Anyways, just had to bunk these food. This, this shit is so easy for me now, man. Anyway. LeBron James averaged 25 in the playoff. Kobe averaged 29 at age 22. Go back and look at age 22, Kobe Brown, what he was doing at age 22. LeBron James had a 48-point special. Kobe had a 48-point special. Only difference is they don't bring it up because he played with Shaq. It doesn't matter if he played with Shaq. And I, what did he do in that game? Did he put up those numbers? He had better numbers. He was a better overall player. Bro, at age 22, Kobe was a better overall player than Michael Jordan. I'm not even going to lie to you. 
I'm not even gonna lie to you. At age 20, more two, 22, he was better than Michael. Don't don't bring up age 21 what he did in the finals against the, the Pacers. See, a lot of people don't like to bring that up because a lot of people bring up what well, Dwayne Wade had. Dwayne Wade had help. He played with. I'm going off topic. Dwayne Wade go ahead and help. He had dominant Shaq. You know, did you know Shaq averaged 13.7 points a game in that final when Dwayne averaged 34.7 points per game? Shaq averaged 13.7 points a game. He wasn't dominant. He only he he didn't he, he averaged 14 points a night. He had 14 points a night. And you know Kobe averaged 15.6, almost 16 points a game in that two, his first championship run. But you do know he played game one. After, in game two, he left the game with two points after he make, making the as he made the jump shot on a sprained ankle. He had like did Drake say, "Boy, I'm like Kobe. I'm like Kobe. I'm like Kobe on a sprained ankle. Boy, I ain't nothing to be played with." Because he got hurt, left that game, messed his percent, messed his point average down. If you leave, if you leave a game with just scoring two points, it's gonna hurt you. And it's a six game series. It's gonna hurt it. So. I'm tired of arguing that shit. Come back game. He got her game three. No, missed game. Sorry, missed game three because with Tremaine. Should have came, came back early in game four. 28 points in the game. Took over the game in the fourth quarter in overtime. Look, the jump. He, he made. He didn't make. He, he didn't take no free throw. All jump shots and floaters. 14 for 27 from the field. 28 points. 14 to 27. That's 14 field goals. 14 field goals. That means he had 14 times through the 20. So he made 14 field goals. No free throw attempts. Jump shot at the jump shot. Closing the game. Shaq wasn't nowhere to be found in the fourth quarter. He wasn't getting nothing. It was Kobe all in the fourth quarter. In overtime. Shaq falls out. Kobe said, I got it. Make two back to back jump shots in the row. Pull up, just in the dribble, get in my get in my bag, jump shots. Then Brian Sharp goes in, miss a layup. Kobe tips the ball in. Lakers up three. Kobe takes over the game 28 points in the game four. A pivotal game four to put him up 3 1. That's at age 21. Michael Jordan won't do that at age 21. Now, granted, Shaq was the best player and got him on that stage in that first finals. Shaq got him on that stage. That's how Steph Curry got KD on that stage. But when they did it, when they got to that stage, it was phenomenal. Kobe dominated when he got on that stage. And we have to say that. Agree. Shaquille was the most dominant force at that time. But after that 2000 season, Kobe was the best player. And he and, and LeBron in age 22, I take Kobe... I take Kobe Bryant at age 22 over LeBron James at age 22. Kobe at age 22 is already most the most polished, most skilled player at that time, defensively and offensively. We forget how skilled defense he was. Black and shot, steals, all that, all that. He was the most polished player at age 22 that we have ever seen. How you gonna score 48 points and 16 rebounds in the to sweep the Chris, the Doug Christie, Chris Webber, Ron Divac, Chris and Doug Christie and Chris Webber team? It was Chris Webber team, the best player. Doug Christie, second team on defense. You, you average 35 against them. Close my average 48 points and 16 rebounds. You go play against Tim Duncan and David Robinson at age 22, and you go score 45 points and three rebounds the very next game? And you average 33 against Tim Duncan there as the whole series? And then you get to the finals? You average I'm 24 and a half, 25 points a night? You let Shaquille O'Neal eat barbecue chicken down low? You, 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 you take a step back and let Shaq dominate his matchup? LeBron James had 48 points against the the, uh, the Pistons. That was spectacular. He came back game six. He had, he was three for 11 from the field. That game six closed out game against the Pistons. They say he had no help. But Booby Gibson had, hit seven three. Had 31 points to, to make it to the final. And then when you get to the finals, you didn't score your highest point average in that in, the, in, in that four game was 25 points. You didn't crack 30 points. You shot 35 percent in the field. You got embarrassed by Bruce Bowen and the Spurs. You got embarrassed at age 22. You got embarrassed at age 22 by the Spurs. I don't care if you lost the series because the Spurs was the better team. I don't care if you lost the series. You can't get swept in average 22 a night. If if Kobe didn't have Shaq on his team, you had any, any other all-star or just a good solid team running. You think he averaged 22 on 35% shooting? No, he would have dominated them. He averaged 33 at, at age 22. Kobe averaged. This is how you know. At age 22 in the Western Conference Final, Kobe averaged 22. In the, and, and mind you, LeBron ain't played against uh, Dave Robinson. It was just Tim Duncan. Kobe had, it was Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson. I make them look like man child. He averaged 33 and seven rebounds. I think seven rebounds against him. LeBron James averaged 22 a night. That's all we need to show. At age 22, Kobe Bryant averaged 33 against Tim Duncan. And at age 22, LeBron James averaged, Kobe Bryant averaged 33, 33 against Tim Duncan. At age 22, 33 a night, LeBron James averaged 22 against Tim Duncan at age 22. That's all we need to know in the discussion.